Hey everyone, good evening. Um, I say good evening, it's like uh, 2.30 in the night, 2.26 a.m. on 11-10-2020 and I'm recording this and y'all please forgive me, it's late, I am tired, I look like a bum right now, but um, it's not about me, uh, it's about the word of the Lord and what he has shown to me and I want to share that with you because it's time. Um, I guess you would call this a prophetic word, so to speak, so... I have notes that I'm going to be reading from, so if I'm not necessarily making eye contact, uh, then yeah, uh, please forgive me, but <clears throat> I just wanted to speak this straight. On October 8th, 2020, I had a dream, and it was night, uh, the night after the final uh, vice presidential debate between Mike Pence and Kamala Harris. And in my dream, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were present in my dream. There was also a few celebrities, um, all the ones that I saw was Kerry Washington to be specific, and her parents. Um, they were the primary ones that I recall seeing, uh, and they were celebrating and congratulating one another. Um, and I was just standing back at, at a distance, just observing everything that was you know, taking place. And the one thing that stood out to me though in watching what was happening and going on is that there was no fanfare and there was not tons of people there. It was just a small group. And there, they were in a gymnasium, a high school gymnasium is what it appeared to be. And there was some type of cleaning janitorial crew that was there, staff around. Um, I recall seeing these big black trash bin types of things, you know. Um, but other than that, you know, nothing else happening. And I looked around and I asked God, why does this celebration look so cheesy? I'm sorry, um, the celebration, you know, this get together of these people, uh, I, I guess was expecting more, but it was just lame and it was cheesy and it looked disgraceful and pitiful. It's like for me personally, I was expecting more for what, from, you know, what was happening here. And I guess to say I was disappointed and, but all of a sudden, like that, the scene changed. And I was walking uphill and I was walking with my youngest son. I wasn't by myself and I believe he was holding my right hand as we walked up this hill. But with the hill, the part we were in was covered over. It was like being underground. We were underground. And just to give you a visual perspective, um, what I can akin it to, it's like being on, you know, deep underground in a parking garage. You know, you have different layers, layers to a parking garage, but this, you know, it was something like that, being underground in a part, you know, in that type of sense. But we were walking up a hill, and um, we, I, we could see the entrance, you know, of where to walk and go into. And, but this hill, it descended into the ground, you know, and so my son, we were walking, my son and I, we were walking up. And as we were walking up this hill, all of a sudden, like that, there was snow and ice covered everywhere and everything. And I touched the wall, reached out and touched the wall that was there. Because again, we were still underneath the ground, you know, walking up this hill. And I reached over and touched and this, this wall and it was just cold, you know. And I was just in shock. I was like, you know, what's going on? And again, all of a sudden, like that, I started seeing people slide down past me. And at first I thought they were children. You know, maybe, you know, it's, they were tobagganing, you know, sledding down, you know, a hill, it's snow and, you know, hey, you know, everybody's having a good time. Um, but once it started, you know, we continued making our way to the top of the hill and I realized it wasn't children. These were full blown grown adults, men and women sliding down the hill and once we got to the very top the opening you know where the light and everything was and we were out in the open everything you know was just white everywhere snow was everywhere ice everything iced over and there was this man standing at the top of the hill and I assumed him to be a work a worker or a manager of some sort you know managing everything that was going on here at the top of the hill and you know, again, people are still sliding down past me. Men and women, whoosh, 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 just sliding down this hill. And I asked the man, I said, what's going on? Because I'm standing there in shock, you know, all of a sudden, you know, everything just changed. And this man said to me, 
that it's change of season. It's fall time. And I said, yes, it's fall time. But why all the snow? I said, what's going on with that? And immediately I woke up. And I got up. I woke up out of this, you know, this dream. And immediately I got up, sat up, and I started writing everything down. Because this dream, it just stood out to me. I said, I've got to write this down. I said, there's some kind of meaning to this. There's more to this than, you know, me, you know, just having a dream, you know, coincidence or whatever, so to speak. And during this time, I prayed to God and I asked him, what does this dream mean, Lord? And now as I'm waiting to hear from the Lord and I was trying to decipher all that I saw and to find the meaning, you know, of this dream, you know, because it was just bizarre in a way. And I heard on the radio the answer. And you see, I happen to be listening to a Christian radio station in the back throughout the night. I normally listen to a Christian radio station, you know, just to keep a spirit of praise and worship around me, just a spirit of peace, you know. And when I woke up from this dream, the radio was still playing. And as I asked the Lord full time, I said, what does that mean, Lord? And the radio announcer said, slip and fall, kid you not. As I said it to myself, you know, I'm speaking to myself. And the announcer said, slip and fall. And I said, slip and fall. I repeated out loud what he said. And then I heard the announcer say, it's sin related. And it's like all of a sudden, the Lord started showing to me. The hill in my dream represents Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill there in Washington, D.C. Snow and the ice, we think about snow and ice, it's slippery, it's wet, it can be heavy at times, and it's white. White represents purity and purification. And the Bible verse I think of is in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, it says, Though your sins be as scar scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And the hymn that goes, Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Hmm? We are entering... A cleansing and purifying time cleansing and purifying season it's a time for judgment there's going to be a very drastic change coming or drastic changes um, one being drastic change in the seasons it's going to get very cold very soon so I would encourage you to prepare for that because it's gonna happen like that a drastic change is coming those in Capitol Hill they're going to start falling. Politicians, others in leadership, people are going to start falling, slipping and falling. Why? It's sin related. All of this is going to happen very drastically. And I would encourage you not to worry, not to fear, not to be dismayed. Uh, I would encourage you to fast and to pray and to ask God to keep you and to guide you during this time. I would encourage you to ask God to help you, you put yourself aside. Um, you may have your own thoughts and opinions on this, whatever that may be, but put that aside and ask God to open your eyes that you may see from a spiritual perspective and ask God to open your ears that you may hear from him. This is not from me. I'm not normally on here giving prophecy videos and, you know, talking things of this nature. I like to speak positive things and about relationships and, you know, all that good stuff, you know, light and love and happiness and, you know, encouraging words. But this is different. Um, the Lord gave this to me and I needed to, to get it out to you. Um, I didn't want to be on here sharing this and, and speaking this, but I don't wish to be held accountable. The Bible says if the Lord has given you a word and he expects you to be obedient, and if you aren't, then, in, you know, those souls who could have been saved, their blood, you know, their lives will be on your shoulders, will be on your hands. And I don't want that. So whatever may come of this, I leave it in God's hands. I am doing what he wants me to do, what he has called me to do. I'm being obedient. Um, there's more to this. Again, as I said, judgment is coming and the Lord has given me more to speak. But it is late and I don't want to make this longer than it already is. And, um... I'll have another video coming in regards to that. But please sincerely pray over this. I pray God will be with you and that he will bless you and show you um, 
what you need to do and decisions you need to make. Have a good night or good day, good morning, wherever you are. Ciao. God bless.